Rebecca with Beck's Fine Art. I'm so sorry, it's been forever since I posted a video. Life's just been a little crazy, as I'm sure it has for most of you. I'm actually in a new studio space right now, so I'll give you a studio tour, hopefully in a new video I make. Not right now, because it's kind of messy and not set up all the way. But for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a new product I got from Culture Hustle. It's called Phase, and it actually transitions from purple to pink, so you can kind of see that with me holding it right here. So I'm going to show you um, how I add it to a travel mug. I actually have listed on my Etsy, test it out, give you some tips on how to use it, and let's get started. Okay, so here's just a small little area of my desk. You can see it's much nicer than my other one. Cup I'm working on, my little Groot back there, which whenever I did art fairs, everybody would ask me if they could buy it, not my actual art, so that was like a slap in the face. Anyways, so I am going to be painting this travel coffee mug with the phase paint for the background, which is actually a listing I have on Etsy right now. Anyways, so here is the phase paint. It's a purple powder. And let me see if I can heat it up for you. It changes colors um, at about 82 degrees. So it'll change from this kind of fuchsia -y purple to hot pink. Here's what it looks like on the inside, very pretty. So I'm gonna show you how I have found the best way to mix it is, and then I'll do a time lapse of me actually painting the mug. When you actually buy this, it comes in a little kit. It comes with this powder, it comes with super base, which is what you mix with it. Um, and then it comes with a mixing cup. This is a different mixing cup that I have that I like a little bit better. Um, the directions say that you need to add just a little bit of water to mix with the phase first and then add the super base. So I forget what the actual ratio is. I'm pretty sure it's about a 10 to one mixture of the super base to the phase. So 10 being the super base, one being the phase. Um, but it does come with directions for that. I just threw it out and at this point I know what I'm doing. So I don't like to actually mix the water in with it, like I said. It'll also come with this cute little shovel. So since I'm painting that whole mug, this is about how much I'll need. So a little scoop goes in my mixing cup. And then I'm just going to try to do a 10 to one mixture of this. You basically want it to be sort of like a thick paste. You don't want it to be too watery. So kind of think of it almost like acrylic paint. And I'm just gonna use the end of a paintbrush to mix it. So you'll know if you've added too much of the super base, basically if the mixture is too white or milky looking. So I think mine is a little bit too light. So I will go ahead and add a little bit more of the phase powder to this just to darken it. And then the other thing that you need to know about this is it does need to be stored in a cool area. It says not to refrigerate in the directions um, and also to keep out of direct sunlight because this could kill the phase, meaning it will no longer change from purple to pink. It'll just stay pink. So I just like to keep it in a drawer and that seems to be fine. All right, so you can see it's pretty thick. It's not even dripping. So this is a good consistency. All right, so like I said, um, this is actually a listing on my Etsy where it's a sunset. So I am going to paint the entire thing purple. So again, you can see it does act pretty much like acrylic paint. It is a little bit thinner when you're doing it on a surface like this, you will see the brush strokes, which is why I, I will probably end up doing about three layers on here. So this is what it looks like after one layer. So you can see it is very thin, um, but because I was blow drying it, you can see the hot pink that it turns into. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and add two more layers.
All right, so here's three layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry it and you'll also be able to see it change to hot pink as I dry it. Um, this will also tell me if I need to add another layer or not because obviously I don't want there to be noticeable brush strokes for whoever purchases this. So you can see how awesome and bright it is. It's like totally glowing. I am actually gonna do one more layer and then I'll do a time-lapse of the actual design on here. All right, so here it is with four layers and now I'm gonna paint the sunset. So I will be using this cadmium free light yellow and then this cadmium orange hue for the sunset. the finished painting. This is what it looks like with purple. And then I'll show you how the sunset changes with the heat when it turns to pink. So you can see so you that it still looks really awesome with the orange and the yellow and Here's the other side, looks a little bit more like nighttime. So if you're interested in these, I do have them for sale on my Etsy. That's Bex Fine Art, no spaces between the words. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video on me testing out the Phase powder. If you've got any questions about that or any questions in general, please feel free to comment, as well as if you have any suggestions of other products you'd like me to test out. As usual, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I promise I will be more consistent with posting videos. I know I've said that before, but I really mean it this time. And you can check out all my other social media accounts like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, at Bex Fine Art. See you next time.